Hey friends, Melinda here. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I post weekly workouts so that you can stay strong, fit, and fierce with me each and every week. If you're new here, make sure that you consider subscribing. In honor of Valentine's Week and our Love Month Challenge number two, I've designed this hit for heart, heart pumping workout where we combined high intensity exercises followed by low intensity muscle sculpting series to rev your metabolism and burn major calories. If you heart this workout, make sure that you click that like button below and show me some love for today's workout. Now let's get ready to sweat. We'll start our warm up in a parallel second. Toe tips are forward, belly pulls in, float those arms out to second. We reach into a diagonal press, lateral flexion. Diagonal, reach, lateral flexion. So come across the body and then reach into diagonal arms. Press, zipper up the core, find the length through those arms. So we are warming up this entire body for our hit for heart workout. Reach and press, taking a deep bend within those legs. So we are warming up legs here as well as upper body. Press, diagonal reach, all the way press. One more, reach, coming into our concave position. Pull in and then open your chest wide. Again, inhale, open out. So pull the navel into the spine as you round and then open your heart up towards the ceiling to expand through chest, warming up chest and pecs as well as warming up the spine and back here, press. Keep your core contracted, open up. Inhale, open lengthening. Feel that beautiful stretch through the front half of the body as well as through the back side of the body. Open those arms, we've got the opposite side. Diagonal, reach, pull, press. Diagonal, reach, up and lengthen. Pull across the body, actively pulling the core in. Navel to spine. Reach, lateral flexion press, inhale, exhale press, all the way across, nice bend through side body, push, awakening that back, awakening your entire body here, out, one last one, finish it off, press, reach and press. We've got hips right to left and then a big circle up and around. So we take it to the left, right, up and around. So just having mobility within those shoulders and within those hips. Get a little sassy within those hips, move it up. Big range of motion here, push and reach. So you're taking hip isolations, ribs isolating as well. Right, up and around, press, lift, up and around, take a deep breath, inhale up, exhale, push it down one more, inhale up. Let's get ready to sweat. We'll be starting with our higher intensity exercises followed by those muscle sculpting series. Starting off with a modified double tap to the right and then a double tap to your left side. So this is a more modified version of our double jack. So you can stay right here if you're modifying today. If not, you're gonna start to take it up into that double jack with me right here. Go out, go in press, out and in. So drop those shoulders firmly down the back. Soft bend within those knees. Light feet, out, in, out, in, out, and in. Let's start to take it into those singles. Out and in, press. Inhale and exhale. So we're raising that heart rate, just a basic jack here. You can always stay with those taps, right to left, if you're modifying today. Breathe. Throughout this entire series, I want you to make sure that that breath work is involved. Up and press. Inhale. 
and exhale. We've got our curtsy into side lunge. So curtsy press into our side lunge. Curtsy the right leg behind. Big step and out. Curtsy, press, deep lunge. Big step. Find that lunge. Big step. Reach. So make sure that you're externally rotating that right knee and then toe tips will point forward as you frame out that front foot. Now, if you wanna go heavier with, it, with this, absolutely. Go a little bit heavier. I'm at five pounds right now. Push, reach. But if you know that you want a little bit more, you want more intensity, go ahead for it today. Press, out, and in, press. One more to go, out. Pull it back in. We've got that triple run. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Press. One, two, push. In. So that triple one run. Knee. Inhale. Exhale, push. Press. Reach. Hug it in. Drive the knee into that chest. High knee. So the more that you drive the knee into the chest, the more the core is active. Press. Travel with it. Move. Hug it in. Move those arms. Triple knee, knee. Press. One, two, knee. Going right into that curtsy. Lunge the other side, let's go. Curtsy, side lunge. Curtsy it back. Side lunge, push. Reach, down into it. Curtsy behind, reach. So find that curtsy, lengthen out. Inhale, loading weights right in front of those shoulders. Proud chest, big step so that we work those adductors. Inhale, press, deep bend. Or you can go shallow. You can always modify, but if you're going for it today, I want you to move into those ginormous steps. Out, bring it back in, moving right along. We're gonna take a side kick. I'm gonna show you the basic version to start off with modified today. Modified version, kick it out, pull in. So this is that modified version. So the leg is gonna go a bit higher on the modification because the next thing that we will incorporate will be a jump and it's not gonna be this high. Or if you need to modify even lower, that's okay too. But if you're looking for that more intensity exercise, we are gonna go right into that plyometric push right here. Here is that advancement, taking that low kick out to side body. Drop those shoulders down the back. Core is tight and very soft landing. You want to make sure that you have a soft bend in your knee as you go into that side kick and you land. Light on the ball of the foot, side kick. And if at any time you want to go into a little burst of that high intensity, followed by that side modified kick, go ahead for it. Keep it going. Breathe in four, three, two, last one. Moving on from here, grab your five pound weight. We come across, pull in, diagonal reach, pull in press. Now for this, if you wanna go heavier with an eight pound weight, go ahead. And if you wanna go with that heavy weight and go a little bit slower with that motion, by all means, Take it slower, pull, press. And maybe you're using a lighter weight today, then you can take it a little bit quicker. Or you just stay with me today. I want you to push that knee into the chest, drive it in, 
find connection of knee and elbow into your midline. Breathe and exhale. Press, reach from here. Moving to that side kick. Out and in. Remember, we're going modified. Out and in, press. Out, pull in, reach. Inhale, exhale. Are you ready to kick it up a notch? Let's go. Side kick, push. Drop those shoulders down the back. Little light kicks. Light on your feet. Deep breath. Or you can stay with that modified version, whatever works best for you today. But do know you want to push your body to 100%. Whatever that means for you today. Maybe it's that modified version and you're pushing hard. Press. Keep the breath flowing. Out in five, four, three, two. Last one. Let's take it other side. Let's go. Diagonal, knee. Diagonal cross, knee drive. So I have a five pound weight with me for this exercise. Again, you can bump it up into that higher weight. Or maybe you go with a three pounder. Or maybe you have no weights at all today. I still want you to bring it. Give it your all today. Cool. Drive. Make these movements large. Push it. Up and around. All the way. Hug tightly in. Feel connection inward through midline. Push. Hug in. Let's go one more. Push. Hug in. Center. We're going to start off with a modified burpee. Toe tips are parallel. We reach up. We step into our plank out and in. Reach high. Then let's alternate that leading leg. So we lift and press. Come back in. Reach. So if you want to add a hop to this, you can add a hop. You can add that full burpee where you're coming up, lifting, and then finding your plank so you can come into that advancement. Or you can stay modified. Work at the range that you're at today. So maybe you're a beginner. Maybe you're an advanced exerciser. Push yourself wherever you're at. And maybe you take those first repetitions more modified, and then you start to test yourself. Can I go into that jump? Press, lift, then maybe take it all the way into that full burpee. Press, one more, press. Coming into your knee to warrior three. Pull in, extend. So focus here. Our balance is being challenged. So those legs might feel a little bit wobbly from that higher intensity exercise that we just did. So find focal points that help you maintain your balance and stability here. Press. One more in. You lose your balance, you get right back into it. Take it to the other side. That's what it's about. Coming back in. When we fall, we come back in. We fight for it. Never giving up. Staying strong. Determined. Press. That right leg is working hard to stabilize the body. Core is also very tight and taut. One more in. 
Let's heal it out. We have our rep reduction punches coming up. I'm gonna grab those three pound weights. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, other side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Let's take it into fours right here. Go four, three, two. Make it energized. Push, reach, drop it down to twos. Drop the shoulders down, so I don't want you to lift your shoulders. I want them hugging down the back. Cross it for two. Pivot that back foot, move it. Now give me singles right here. Single, pivot that body. Get it moving here. Up and around, cross it. Pull and press. Inhale, exhale. You could add a hop to this if you're looking for more plyometric work. Press for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, moving into star reaches. Inhale, star reach and press. Inhale and exhale, press. Inhale. So all of these balancing exercises are pretty challenging to do after we've done that high intense work. Press, stabilize here, you've got it. Stick it out with me. Maybe the leg doesn't go as high, but we're still challenging our bodies. It might lo not look the same as anyone else, but it's us working at our own potential. Press, inhale, exhale it out. Inhale, exhale, push it. Inhale, exhale, stretch. From here, we're gonna move right along into that high intensity work. Knee, side press, knee, side. Pull it in and side. You're gonna give me a little hammer curl, bicep curl as you drive it forward and then to the side. If you need to modify, just eliminate that hop and give me those knees. Press. How you feeling? How's that heart doing? Is it pumping? Let's get it up there. Work at your maximal potential for these high intensity exercise. Pull. Lift your chest. Proud chest. Inhale, exhale, pull it in, press it. Soft landing, again, soft knees, never drawing through those knees. You wanna protect those knees. Pull in, you've got it. Seven, six, five, in four, three, two, last one, moving into our strength. Inhale, yogi squat press, inhale, Malasana, press, pull up, reach. If you want to add an extra challenge, lift to your toe tip, press down. So up for a little bit more calf work. Now don't allow your chest to fall forward like this. Don't do this. Lift through your heart center, press, high reach, get low, and press. Low to high. Dynamic range of motion. If you need to, you can wiggle those legs in a little bit tighter to find a little bit more stability. Down and lift. Lower and lift. One more. Let's go for it. Inhale. Exhale. Deep breath. Exhale it out. Starting in quadruped, tuck your toes, lift up. We've got our hovering kick out. The right leg pushes out and in. Press in, pull navel to spine. Drop the shoulders firmly down the back. Press, now you can take this up to tempo. Press, kick it out, pull, reach. Flex through that foot so that you get that derriere and the hamstring working here. 
push press out drop the shoulders firmly down the back you'll feel that left quad really start to burn kick push stabilize that core press to the back moving right along into our pike hike and then push hike plank lift the hips high press back in so this is just a little rest for us a working rest active rest pull press so this would be that lower intensity sculpting series pull the belly in find your plank lift high pull it back into center reach find that flat line reach into that gorgeous line of plank lift coming back into that hover from here we've got the opposite side working press the left heel out now you're gonna feel a lot within that bottom leg that stabilizing leg press now you can keep this slow if you want a little bit of intensity Challenging a little bit further. Take it up a notch. Push. Press. Heel drives back. Press it out with intention. Find the kick. Find that proper form and alignment. Moving on into that active rest. Feels good to go back into that active rest. Those thighs should really have felt it. Press. But that's a total body move, so the upper body feels it as well. And the core is stabilizing body. As long as you're driving that navel into spine. Have a soft bend in those elbows. So try not to hyperextend within your plank as you push into that downward facing dog lift your hips high to ceiling press lift and lower one more here inhale and exhale from here we're going to move into an elbow plank drop the shoulders down we're going to take an out out in in take the opposite side modified version to start off with so we lead with the right, and then you lead with that left, out, out, in, in, out, and in. Deep breaths, stick with it, drop those shoulders firmly, down the back. Now if you want that intensity, open, close, open, close, jack it out, or stay with that, out, out, in, in. You could even bump this up into a full plank if you're feeling a lot in your shoulders. Out and in. Press. Out. Pull in. Out and in. Moving on from here, we'll take this right into that cross mountain climb. Cross. So modified version to start off with. Drive it. Cross the body. Press. Maybe amplifying with some intensity. Let's get it going. Push. Drive. Maybe taking that hop. Cross it out. Finish this series off strong. We're not done. We've got more after this, but I want you to finish this minute off strong. Push, keep it going. Inhale, exhale, cross it, press. You've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Moving into our core work, 
Place those legs bent and place hands behind nape of the neck. Lift up, pull right leg into tabletop, left leg comes into meated. We pull into a tight ball shape, extend, reach it nice and long. So pull into a tight ball, inhale and exhale, pull. Pull in, stretch it nice and long. Pull in, extend and reach. Pull into that tight ball, reach those fingertips away. Pull in, stretch it nice and long. Pull in, reach and press. So I want you to find that tight ball shape and extend, reach overhead. Biceps are in alignment with those ears. If you need to modify, I want you to take those legs higher. Drive the belly in, so make sure the navel is pulling in, down into your mat. Lengthen it away. Pull, press in. Moving from here, we have our snow angels. Lift up, extend, reach, pull in, hug, and press. So we reach, pull in, and press. Reach, pull in, press. No angel, in, press, pull in, open. So you're gonna open to an X shape, open, hug tightly in, out, in, star, press, reach. To find that snow angel shape. Out and in. Pull in. These are difficult. In. Out. In. And out. Slowly lower those legs. Reach them nice and long. We pulse up for three, two, one. Lower. Reach right. And then left, pulse, two, three, four. Let's lift all the way up, or you can modify with a smaller range of motion. One, two, three, four. Lift, lengthen, pulse, two, three, four. Exhale, lift. Press, lift, two, three, exhale, press, triple pulse, jackknife, right, left, semi-circles from here, pull navel to spine, lift head, neck and shoulders, extend it out, lift up. Pull it back in, reverse crunch. So semi-circle the legs. Lift, reverse crunch. Pull knees to chest. Lift elbows wide. Pull in. Reach those legs away from the body. Don't use momentum here. Use core strength to lift and lower legs. Press, reach the toe tips away from body. Press, lengthen, four more to go. In for four, three, two, one. Last one, pull your knees in, give them a hug, maybe rock side to side. Inhale, exhale. Pull the right knee into the chest. Give it a tight hug. Ankle rolls up and around. Then reverse it. Let's take it to that opposite side. Slowly release it. Pull the knee into the chest. Ankle rolls around. Let's reverse it from here. Pull knees into the chest, open up, hip circles, up and around. Pull 
Let's reverse those circles for four, three, two, last one. Let's take a hamstring stretch, pull that knee in, lengthen the leg, drop the shoulders down the back. You can flex and point here if that feels good in the body. Four, three, two, last one, slowly come down, take it to the opposite side, pull it in, reach it nice and long. Now my left leg's a little bit tighter, as you can probably notice. Not as much flexibility. Flex in point. That just needs, just means that I need to work a bit harder on that left side. Slowly come down. Bring it into a figure four on that right side body. You can place hands behind the hamstrings or if it feels better to grip below the knee, do what's better for your body. Nobody is exactly the same, so our bodies need to have some variations for some of the exercises. Push the right elbow into that inner thigh, flex firmly. Hold here for four, three, two. Last one, very slowly release. Take it to the opposite side. Come either behind hamstring or gently below that knee. Open up. You're gonna notice if one hip is tighter than the other. My left hip seems to be tighter than the opposite one. Flex firmly through those toe tips. Pull the belly in, drop the shoulders down. Open up, allow yourself to release within these stretches. Inhale and exhale, breathe through it, hold. For four, three, two, last one, elongate. Awesome work, friends. Make sure that you leave your video ideas and suggestions in the comment section below. I would absolutely love to hear from you. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to sweat it out with you soon again.